Welcome back to 90 Second Philosophy and Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with propositional logic, looking at the rules of implication. Today we're going to be doing the rule of implication called hypothetical syllogism. This is another form of valid argument, just like the disjunctive syllogism we checked out in the last video. So, hypothetical syllogisms look like this. If Tayshon passes the bar, he will become a lawyer. If Tayshon becomes a lawyer, his heart will become hardened. Therefore, if Tayshon passes the bar, his heart will become hardened. They also look like, if you do not pray to Zeus, he will become angry. If Zeus becomes angry, there will be a thunderstorm. Therefore, if you do not pray to Zeus, there will be a thunderstorm. Basically, what we're doing is taking two conditional statements and hooking them together into one conditional. This simplifies, especially when you have long trains of conditionals. Let's take a look at the truth table. So, it would look like P implies Q, Q implies R, therefore P implies R. Let's see. We fill in our truth tables as normal, we focus on the truth tables under the conditionals, and we see that in the three worlds where the two premises are true, the conclusion is also true. So this is a valid form of argument. That was hypothetical syllogism. We represent it with H. S. Next up, we're going to be looking at modus ponens, followed by a bunch of other versions of rules of implication as well as rules of replacement. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.